Welcome to the AutoPulse NXT Resuscitation System in-service video series. This multi-part series provides detailed information about the AutoPulse NXT mechanical CPR device and its functionality. This series serves as an adjunct to formal training. Please take time to read the user guide available at zoll.com. Proper use of the system requires a thorough understanding of the product, appropriate training, and practice. In this module, we review battery management for optimizing the use of the AutoPulse NXT resuscitation system. When using the AutoPulse NXT system, you can check the battery charge status on the battery itself or in the battery charger. You'll find the battery charge indicator on the face of the battery next to the finger ring. This remains visible while the battery is in the platform. The number of lights illuminated indicates the charge level. Four green bars mean the battery has over 75% charge. One to three green bars mean the battery has a partial charge. One bar means the battery's charge is very low and the battery needs to be changed. If no lights appear when you push the button to check the charge status, the battery cannot be used and it should be replaced. The alert indicator is located under the charge status indicator on the battery. If it is red, the battery has failed and cannot be used. The battery should be disposed of and replaced. Proper use and maintenance of the batteries and the charging platform will optimize battery life. New batteries are shipped at a reduced charge for safety reasons. You must charge a new battery before using it and at least once a year thereafter. The AutoPulse NXT battery charger is used to charge, test, and maintain up to two AutoPulse NXT batteries at a time. Ensure the charging bays are clear of debris or obstruction before inserting a battery into the charging bay, pushing until it properly latches into position. The battery charger should automatically detect the battery and start the charge cycle. On the front of the battery charger is the blue control panel. The control panel contains a power button, the battery charger alert, the battery charge status indicator, the battery alert indicator, a USB transfer indicator, and a USB port. The power indicator will illuminate when the charger is plugged in and has power. The battery charger alert will illuminate if the battery charger is on but requires attention. If the battery charger alert is on, refer to the user guide to troubleshoot. The battery charge status illuminates for the battery in the applicable bay. The corresponding battery alert will illuminate if the bay is not working. If the alert is illuminated, refer to the user guide to troubleshoot. On the battery charger control panel, the battery charge status indicator will provide status updates on the battery condition. If the battery charge status indicator is flashing at a fast rate, the battery is charging. Typical charge time is up to two hours. If the battery charge status indicator is flashing at a slow rate, the battery may be undergoing a measurement cycle or may be outside of the acceptable temperature range. In either of these situations, leave the battery in the battery charger until the measurement cycle is complete or until the temperature returns to within the acceptable range. If the battery charge status indicator remains illuminated, the battery is fully charged and ready to use. Once it is fully charged, you may leave the battery in the charger, install it in the platform, or store it in a cool, dry place for future use. If the battery alert indicator illuminates, note that the battery charger was unable to charge the battery, or the battery has failed the measurement cycle. If this occurs, remove and reinsert the battery into the charger. If the alert indicator remains illuminated, note the battery serial number and contact technical support. If neither the battery charge status indicator nor the battery alert indicator illuminates, the battery charger is unable to recognize the battery. If this occurs, remove and reinsert the battery. If the status is still idle, refer to the user guide for troubleshooting. As mentioned earlier, when the battery charge status indicator flashes at a slow rate, the battery could be undergoing a measurement cycle. The measurement cycle measures a battery's capacity and can take 5 to 10 hours to complete. If a battery has not undergone a full cycle and is placed in a charger, a measurement cycle is automatically initiated. Do not remove the battery from the charger until the measurement cycle ends or this may reduce the battery's charge. If the battery is removed before the measurement cycle ends, the measurement cycle will automatically restart the next time the battery is inserted into the charger. After the measurement cycle completes, 
the battery is ready to use and the battery charge status indicator on the charger panel will illuminate. Note that the switch on the back of the battery charger is the circuit breaker, not the power switch for the charger itself. To power the battery charger, plug the power cord into a power source. We have now reviewed battery management for the Auto Pulse NXT resuscitation system.